Hey guys, this is Rep. Uh, so you can tell by the title, we're doing good old games and making games from that work in wherever you want to put it, honestly. So let's get started. What we're going to do, as you can see, I already have uh, good old games Galaxy installed. How you would go about that, so you hit the plus sign, do search for Lutris installers. Do G O G. Wait for it to pull up the list. Go down G O G Galaxy. Run the install. Once you run the install, um, here I'll show you the configure on the ones actually that actually work for me. So I got that. Wine G E eight twenty four. That's Wine Golden Egg Roll 824. That one works the launcher for me just fine. Out there. So let's go ahead and fire that up. That may not be correct. I might have changed it. I forgot. We'll find out here in a second. Dun, 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 dun. And my internet here is slow. I'm at home today. Now I do have Steam on my system. And there'll be people out there saying, well, why not just stick with Steam? You can get everything you can get on good old games on Steam. Or something to that effect. Steam has their own sales. Like you see right here, uh, good old games have its own sales. And because of that, I got Cyberpunk. Instead of paying 60 bucks for the title, I paid $30. So... Go to installed. You can see I picked it up. Now this is where it gets a little weird. Um, downloaded, installed it, and then you go and try to fire it up, and it doesn't. You may think you're stuck and out of options because you can't really configure in here which wine version you're using. Well, get a little creative. Won't be an issue. Here, I'll go ahead and try to give you an example of I went ahead and tried to play it. It's probably going to throw up some kind of error. Did it even press? Yeah, it did. Try again. Play twice. I'll tell you right now, though. It's going to error out. It already has. Um, it wanted files, and it just wouldn't start altogether. So what we're going to do... Close that puppy out, stop that puppy. Make sure we don't have it running in the background. Last thing we need is extra games trying to run. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it didn't even get to the point of firing up. I don't think it did. Okay, now that we checked, the background seems pretty cleared. Let's give you a look. Oh, I already showed you what that was working on. So from this point, what I would do, what I have done, was I created another launcher for Cyberpunk. So we go in here. We have Brother Runner, Lutris GE Proton 815. That has been tested and confirmed as working. Now how you would go about that is go to the plus button up here left upper left hand corner add locally installed game. Put a name in there. We're going blah blah blah. Switch that over to wine. Go to game options. You're going to browse for the game itself. How you do that is you hit your home Go to two games. GOG Galaxy Drive C Program Files X86 GOG Galaxy Games Cyberpunk and then for here we do Red Pre Launcher EXE. Put that in there. 
also same thing with the prefix prefix is just fancy talk for we're using this wine version galaxy drive c program x86 GOC galaxy games and here we just do the directory for cyberpunk hit okay then we go to the runner options change that that puppy right there nutris ge proton 815 save now if you don't know how to get that lutris ge proton 815 go down on the left hand side where it says wine the little lighter icon click that and you can add lutris ge proton 815 okay As you can see, this is the one I've already been using. It's already built for it. It has the runner options in there. Don't have to add anything else. Going to get this one removed now. That's the one I just made. Hit uninstall. It's not going to dump the directory, so you're fine there. All right, so let's say you don't want to use Lutris. You still have other options. Let's go into Steam. Lower left hand corner, it has a little thing on there that says add game. And you could top one right there, add a non Steam game. And then you're going to find the same thing as the first one. So, go to my home, my rep, that's my directory. Scroll down until we get to games. Double click, Galaxy Games. Drive C, Program X86, Galaxy Game, or GOG Galaxy Games, Cyberpunk, and then Red Pre Launcher open. You can see it put it on there. Now select Game. And then you'll see Red Pre Launcher over here. Right click Properties. Go to the Compatibility, Force. And then you can put Whichever one you want to try. I'll try 706. Yeah. Now we're here. I might as well give it a shot and see if it works or not. Worst it can do is just say no. You have to look and see if I can rename it. Pretty sure I can. Properties. Yeah, I can rename it. Alright, we'll put that as... Uh, oh. and close it looks like it's thinking on my end the hard drive is just worrying away so let's see what actually kicks over or not but this is another option you can use to launch the game now I did try bottles um, for Battle.net I had it work at one time and another time decided, like this time around I decided it's not going to work so I mean, if you try bottles, it may end up working for you. But this one looks like it's gonna try to give it's gonna give it the old college try. Let's see what happens. Personally, I don't like using the Steam. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you, Steam. I love you, Steam people, you developers, but for my old, I guess you call it potato computer, that overhead on there is just it's too much for me to deal with. Too much for my system to handle. Alright, the mouse is, is working. But it's taking a while. I think I got to the same point last time on one of the wine versions I was running. It got to this black screen. It gave me the arrow. And then it said no. So, I didn't want to leave you guys without seeing an actual working version. So, I'm going to go ahead. Alt-Tab. Stop this thing. What works for me or what doesn't work for me may work for you or may not work for you. This is Linux in a nutshell. You may have one person that it works great for and next person is like it didn't work at all. It is what it is. Try your best. Make it work for you. I'm just giving you the tools to make that happen. So let's cut out of here. 
go up to my Lutris one. I'll go ahead and hit play. This one I know works because I was playing it this morning before I had to go and do some work. Voila. Cyberpunk 2077 on my potato computer. Now I can do the same thing. Alt tab. Hit stop button. Probably not the ideal way to end the game, but it's better than trying just to alt tab and then close it. These uh, stop and place it, uh, items buttons and most of these user interfaces work really well but this is how i got good old galaxy to work or good old games galaxy to work that's how i got cyberpunk to work you can put it on your your steam um you also have the options of there's play on linux you can download and try to get it working that way it just requires more work this is probably the easiest and fastest way i got it to uh, install and run now if you're going to be doing epic game store same thing what works for the launcher may not necessarily work for the game you may find a game that it does work for it so if i ran the game inside here with the wine ge uh 824 if a game uses that and it works great run it off the launcher if it doesn't make your own launcher same thing with Epic, Epic Game Store. Luckily, Steam, the majority of the time, it will work. But you may run into those things, like for me, uh, that one right there, Divinity Original Sin 2, doesn't work for me on Steam. So I'll come in here, make a launcher for it, and make it work that way. All right? Well, that's all I got for you guys today. This is Rep signing off. You guys take care.